We finally got around to reviewing the Shark Rocket ZS351 Corded Vacuum with 0M. We put it through all of our usual tests and found that it had some serious strong points, but if I were you I would stick around for the negative stuff since there are some drawbacks too. Links in the description to everything I'll mention and let's get started. So jumping into the pros, I really liked the 0M brush roll, which is a newly designed system that's supposed to greatly reduce the amount of pet hair tangles on the brush. These little protrusions on the top of the housing actively remove any tangles over time and we tried our very best to get pet hair tangled in the brush with our tests, and the feature does seem to work well, and many reviews I've seen tend to agree. It's also really good at carpet cleaning. It picked up all the debris in the tests, from fine debris to pet hair, and even extra large debris with few issues. It did struggle a little with the Fruit Loops, but it was able to pick them up too. And with a carpet deep clean test, where we rub sand into a thick medium pile carpet and weigh the dust bin before and after, it scored a perfect 100%, which is not as common as you might think, especially with stick vacuums. It also did good with a thick carpet in this test, not bogging down like some vacuums tend to do. Its hard floor performance was mostly a pro. It picked up heavy debris like sand perfectly, which is somewhat rare. It does have a nice airflow seal on the bottom, which Shark has been implementing a lot lately, which helps with this. It picked up pet hair very nicely, and it did fairly well with large debris to a point. Like most non-duo clean sharks, the upper size limit was particularly large Cheerios, and certainly anything larger, at least on hard floors. It was fairly versatile. You can use it as a handheld with the included upholstery tool or crevice tool. It's very adept into getting into hard to reach places with its slim design and very smooth swivel. It has two power options, one for hard floors and one where it spins the brush faster for carpets and thick rugs, though the actual power output doesn't change when you change modes. We might as well talk about the power now, even though it's not necessarily a pro. We measured the airflow at both the base and at the cleaner head and found that it had 45 CFM and 40 CFM respectively, and its suction was measured at about 49 inches of water lift. Those airflow numbers are about on par with a high-end cordless vacuum like the Dyson V8 or the Shark Ion P50, though its suction is a bit lower than average in that case. But I do expect more from a corded vacuum like the Rocket is, as compared to its corded counterparts, it would be considered below average. That being said, because of its mechanics and the aforementioned seal, it does perform like a more powerful vacuum, getting a slightly above average score on the crevice pickup test, for example. A few final pros is that it does have a very long cord at 30 feet, and it's equipped with bright LED lights on the floor nozzle as well as on the handle, which is more useful than you might think, and it has more than double the dustbin capacity compared to previous Rockets. The dustbin is also also easy to remove and empty and is not prone to debris getting stuck. Moving on to the cons. The main thing for me is that it's tiring on my forearm. Don't get me wrong, it weighs about the same as the Dyson V8 or V10, which I consider to be light, but something about the weight distribution really wears my arm out, especially if I'm trying to vacuum the whole house. If you're wanting to buy this because you think it will be easier to use than a regular vacuum, you're probably going to be disappointed. In addition, it's awkward to store. It does have a feature where you kind of hook the handle to the floor nozzle for storage, but during a cleaning job, you'll be searching for a place to lay it down when you need to change outlets. At least with a Shark cordless line like the Ionflex or the F80, the handle bends for quick storage. Also, it may be a bit nitpicky to say that it's not a sealed system with HEPA filtration since few vacuums in this price range are, but I've come to expect sealed HEPA systems on Shark vacuums of just about any price range, but for some reason they don't put HEPA filters on their vacuums in this style. So if you want a lightweight, easy-to-use vacuum that won't tire you out, the Shark Rocket 0M is not it. Other than the 0M technology, I can't see a single advantage of the Shark Rocket over any other Shark-powered liftaway, which you can also use like a stick vacuum without the weight on your forearm. Our favorite is the Shark NV803, which I'll link in the description, and if you want to go cordless, our favorite is the Shark Ion P50, which I'll again put links to in the description. Consider a like or a subscription to Vacuum Wars if this video helped you out. New videos every Tuesday and Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern, and thanks for watching.